All right, hey there, guys. Adrian Costi here, AK Jedi Row 95, coming at you guys with another video. So, in this video, guys, it is going to be a discussion video. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. But in this video, guys, I want to talk about are theme teams bad for Madden? You know, you got people saying that it is, some people saying that it's not, and then you got some people in the middle saying, eh, it kind of is, but who cares? Um, so before we do get too deep into it, guys, if you guys do like this type of content, want to see more discussion videos below, hit the like on the channel. I mean, hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Anyhow, so this thread that caught my attention is what the reason, the inspiration why I am making this video, because this is a conversation that we people have had quite throughout the entirety of Madden ever since I've been in the community. And, you know, I've never really felt the need to make this a video until now. So John B says, y'all can debate this. Theme teams are terrible for the game. So many cards have legit zero use because they can't get plus one slash plus two speed. And most of everyone is relatable on reliable on relying. That's what he actually did correct himself. Is relying on a couple of cars from a team that to come out. And if it doesn't, the promo is terrible because of it. Now I can agree. You know, the promo does ultimately suck because of it. If you cannot engage with it, you know, there's no reason to to do so. However, the problem, the thing is, and some people were talking about this in responses, you don't need to engage with every promo to enjoy the game. Like, there are certain cards that I'm just not interested in, even if I wasn't a Seahawk, even if I wasn't making a Seahawks theme team, I would not be interested in certain cards coming out. Like, for example, that Adam Thielen coming tomorrow for LTD, I wouldn't, I don't really think I care about that Adam Thielen too much. Same with some of the legends that came out, like, for example, like Franco Harris. I could give two shits about Franco Harris. I understand he's a great player and may he rest in peace. I just don't give a crap about his muck cards because I don't give a crap about fullbacks. I never have, and I never will. I only have him in my lineup because I have to have a 50 out of, have to need him to get 50 out of 50. But other than that, I could give two shits. I truthfully could give two shits. But there are some responses. Again, you know, Joker Kale said has been preaching this since last year. Completely agree. I, I also responded, I disagree. Uh, someone, uh, I think Pav, I cannot remember how you pronounce this guy, gentleman's name. And I apologize for that, by the way. Uh, but he says, I love my new cards and theme teams, but man, the switching is tiring. Uh, he says it gets tiring, but for like two weeks, we were hoping for legends slash promos of a couple of teams. And if we don't get a DB or wide receiver, the promo is mid to which I did actually did see this and responded. Welcome to the struggles of theme team life. It's not fun. And it's borderline maddening at times, which is why they're not as bad as you think for the game comp tournaments. Yes, I get it. But overall, I don't agree. Um, you know, same with my guy. Same with not my guy. Same with uh, gentleman by the name of Pony, Mon Pony Montana. I hope I say it. I hope I pronounce that correctly. Um, continuing on, there's a couple of other responses that caught my eye that I want to talk about. That I touch on. Um, there again, there is a couple of. Um, they are bad for comp. This was the, this was one, and then there's a couple. Then there was a couple of other ones. They are bad for comp Madden, good for casual players and NFL fans. I'll be honest. If I couldn't get a boost from building a Broncos theme team, then I wouldn't play Mud. It's a good budget friendly option rather than having a God Squad, and it's awesome to have your theme theme team. The the budget friendly option I think is a thing that a lot of people just don't fucking understand about that. Is the is how actually much easier it is on you as a player to run a theme team now i'm not saying everybody should do it i'm not gonna sit there and argue that because ultimately you know I'm, i can't you can't convince everybody to do it but i will say it is a lot more budget friendly to be a to be a theme teamer than it is to be a regular god squad player you know it is a lot more a lot less time a lot less cost consuming you know, and, and that's and, and look, that also can be a blessing in disguise, not interacting with promos, because sometimes you're just going to need to let your coin stack build up for when the next big player drops, like the next Seahawk, Pet Steeler, Bronco, even Viking drops. You know, you're going to want to save your coins and make sure that you do get, you know, get the player right away instead of having to potentially open packs and then not having to be able to get it. So. So yeah, that was basically the uh, thought behind that. Uh, we also have, you know, theme teams are definitely not great for comp Madden, but for everyday player, it's part of what makes it fun. If you support a team, building a team of all time greats is part of the appeal of MUD. Competitive Madden and casual Madden, once again, with opposing uh, initiatives, which I do agree. I think that is the problem, is comp Madden wants, you know, they want everything to be sweaty all the fucking time. 
and you know take all the fun out of the game whereas you know casual players just want to play and have fun and i'm not going to say i'm a casual player i'm not going to say i'm a competitive player i like to think i'm between the, in the middle if i had to lean more to one side i'd say i'm more of a casual player i just like to have fun and play the game um and and that's the thing and what really pisses me off too is some of these people another talking point that i didn't see on the th in, in any of the responses but i do see from people in the you know when it comes to arguing about theme teams well if you want to play with your favorite team theme team so bad go play regs like that is a viable argument especially when we all know with how abilities are in this game you need a quarterback with well first of all you need a quarterback with passing ability you're going to need potentially a quarterback with hot rod abilities you're probably going to want some defenders with pick artist or lurker or pass rushers with like you know some pass rushing abilities and there isn't very many teams on the game that have that like i know mahomes mahomes has got pass lead elite i think pass lead elite and hot round master so like everybody's going to use the kansas city chiefs and regs like i'm not going to hop into a game with 82 overall with like what 70 something overall geno smith and regs like DK actually will give me some nice outside, like an outside apprentice, but that's it. Like there's no other abilities on any of the Seahawks in terms of X factors and shit. So why would I waste my time with that? Why would I go play a less indulge, a less enjoyable game mode? At least to me, anyways. I know there's a dedicated regs and uh, franchise fan base, and good for you. You guys keep doing what you're doing. This doesn't concern you. But why would I waste my time doing that? Why would I go ahead? and waste my time in regs a mode that is significantly in my opinion significantly a bit of a bigger downgrade than mutt overall and subject myself to a, a less enjoyable experience why would i do that so yeah that is basically what it and then last thing i just majorly want to talk about for the video is you know the, the part of this you know if you really think is an issue you just don't know the struggle and theme team hop and i think that right there is ultimately the biggest reason why i think people say that theme teams are not fun now granted there are some people who just don't play as it and just think that they shouldn't be in the game and that's fine whatever you can argue you can discuss what you wish i personally would disagree but you know whatever but if you are somebody that just theme team hops and does all of that i don't know if i have any others um i didn't say uh say anything else um but yeah like for theme team hopping like you know like there are people who just do that because they hop from one theme team to another like there was a whole bunch of people that hopped on the seahawks theme team at least 25 or 25 out of 50 um there was a lot of people that hopped on that train when so many of the good cards came out and then now people are starting to absolutely sell off and move to the kansas city chiefs or miami dolphins theme team which i think the miami dolphins theme team is probably the best in the game right now <laughs> either them or kansas city my apologies so yeah i think that's why people say that they are bad because they just theme team up and they're just having to consistently swap out every every other uh, one or that what notes uh, stuff and whatnot now a lot of people are gonna you know people are gonna say you know madden b says you know to casuals whatever i don't mind that but it's the fact that you have to do all this and if a car doesn't come out for a promo and shit like that we're all gonna say it's ass now the, here's the thing about that and i i said this to one i'm gonna i said this in different responses but i don't want to go scrolling through and digging them all up everyone is gonna say that a promo sucks if they don't get a certain player for their theme team, or there isn't like a big name card like a Randy Moss, an Adrian Peterson, a you know even a Ezekiel Elliott, let's or not a CD Lamb, let's say just throwing out a name. If those card kind of guys aren't in the promo, you know, people are gonna sit there and say it sucks. Like that's just the internet. Like that's just how people in today's day and age are. They're opinionated. And they bitch about everything you know you especially but okay maybe not you especially but you get the point but you, you get what i'm trying to say like everybody does it like it's it's not just a a theme team issue everyone will do it you know says that it's complete garbage or mid and stuff like that you know it, it happens it is what it is that's just how the internet works 
you know like it it does not it, it it's not that uh big of a deal like it's truly truly not that big of a deal honestly so overall guys i do think theme teams are not as big of a deal as you think and i do think personally that people are overblowing theme teams again and I, I, you might be thinking i'm saying this as a biased theme team player and if that's how you think that's how you think i'm not gonna try and you know i'm not gonna try and say that you're you're gonna you know i'm not gonna change your mind basically is what i'm gonna say but i'm just laying out how i feel personally about it um and whatnot and let me i'm passing it off to you guys and letting you guys uh, answer the questions uh and whatnot in the chat in the chat in the comment section so finally guys just before we go uh we do actually have a showcase so we got the jadevion clowny as i mentioned um you know this card is pretty mid not gonna lie like this card is pretty bad even like 82 power move like might be okay but uh, and then adam Thielen um with 87 speed 88 jumping you know 87 speed receiver adam Thielen is pretty nice but you know he's not really the big name receiver you know that especially since we're all expecting randy moss at some point in the next few um in the next few days in the next little while but that's gonna be it guys again passing it off to you do you agree or disagree with anything i've said do you agree or disagree with anything of the responses let me know in the comments guys and i'll see you guys next time i'm out peace